Well, good Wednesday morning, my dear friends. Are you ready for today's devotional? I apologize for yesterday. You know, the thing about doing a devotional every day is you can't just pick the days when you're at your best. Some days <laughs> I'm lower than a snake's belly, and I'm the kind of person that wears my emotions on my sleeves. I don't even wear sleeves. But anyway, kind of inside out emotional person. And so many say, you're always so happy, you're always so happy. Well, the other side of always so happy is that when somebody hurts your feelings and they make you sad, you get really sad and really down. So I'm trying to forget it. I have blocked that person again. Um, came back to me really, really quick why that person has been blocked for the last several years. <laughs> but I hate it. I just hate it. Why can't people be nice to each other? I just don't understand it. Let me take a sip of my brand new fresh up cuppa and then we'll get to the devotional. Okay, Sherry Cherry, hope that wasn't too loud. All right, it's the last day of March 2021, March 31, 2021. April starts tomorrow, so come by tomorrow. I'll be doing this. I don't have two channels. I only have one channel. But every single day I do a devotional, and it's only like five or six minutes long. But I also do all of my sewing and my quilting and my scan cut videos also. So usually you can tell by the title. So check tomorrow for a brand new challenge. Viv and I are starting for April. Okay, today's devotional is called A Sense of Urgency. The scriptures John 4 35. And this is what Jesus said. Remember, this book is words of Jesus. Open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. Ooh, Lord, I have something special to tell you if I don't forget. Does it make you nervous to think about sharing your faith? Are you afraid of rejection? Yes, that could happen. Yes, that absolutely will happen. <laughs> Let me correct the lady there. <laughs> but there are also people who are ready to hear about Jesus' love. They're just waiting for someone to tell them. That's why Jesus said the fields are ripe for harvest. God's desire is that all people would come to know him. Look around at the people in your life who don't know Jesus. It's urgent that they hear and have a chance to choose Jesus. Don't be afraid of rejection. Be excited at the possibility of opening the door for someone to come into the kingdom. Speaking of someone we love very much, and so many of you are praying for, your prayers are working. Please continue to pray for Jerry's brother. He... He always talks to me through Messenger. It took me forever to figure out even where he was. I'd suddenly get this message, and I'd go to my text messages, and there wouldn't be anything there. And i think, well, where's that message at? Why the heck? My lightning fast mind. I finally figured out Messenger is part of Facebook. I know. 70-year-old brain. So, you know, he left again a couple weeks ago. We begged him to stay, but he, he left after confessing something he did many years ago. That was extremely hard on Jerry. It caused some, some real, real issues, and we never had any idea who had done it to us. So he admitted it. So he messaged me last night. He wasn't able to get Jerry because Jerry's phone was over in the little four-wheeler thing. He drives down to the ponds. He'd left his phone in it, and he was um, here. So um, his brother messaged me. And he said, there's some other things I need to admit that I did. Um, I really need to tell Jerry. Do you think I should write him a letter? He, and, or do you think I should um, tell him on Messenger? And I said, oh, well, Jerry's phone's over in the barn. Let me have Jerry run over and get his phone, and you can just call him. And so then he texted again, and he said, 
well, do you think it'd be all right if I just called him instead of writing him a letter? And I said, absolutely. He's right here. Just call him. He's got his phone. So we turned off the TV, and he called, and he talked to Jerry, and he confessed. He said, you know, I'm just a terrible, worthless, horrible worm, the worst person in the whole wide world. I did this, 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 this. And it was back in the early days when he was very, very into the drug culture. And um, he had done some things that he wasn't ashamed of then. You know, when you're on drugs every day, you don't even know what you did. He even said, I don't even know what I did half my life. But he knew he did this. And so he explained it more and told Jerry why it happened and why he did it and blah, blah, blah. Jerry just said, Don. We love you. We forgive you. I forgive you. Don't think about it anymore. It's over with. It was a long time ago. I forgive you. Let it go. And we told him 20 times, we love you, we love you, we love you. Jerry kept telling him, I don't care about that. What I care about is your salvation. And he said, well, I'm going to die. I just know I'm going to die real soon. And we said, please come here. Please come here and let us take care of you because he's far, far away. He's four hours from here. And he lives all alone, out in the stick somewhere, nobody around him. And we just begged him. I said, how will we know? How will we know if something happens to you? Come here, let us take care of you. Let us love you. And he said, no, no, no. He had too many things to do, and he needed to stay there. But anyway, keep him in your prayers because your prayers are working. Oh, my dear friends, where would we be without our friends that think and believe like we do. Because I know that those that don't, even family members, even somebody you grew up with, <laughs> they can say things that will just absolutely knock the wind out of you and ruin your day. <laughs> but anyway, I'm bouncing back and I blocked it and so nothing else can happen insofar as that person is concerned, thank God. And I'm just going to thank God as I always do for all of you and how loving you are. I wish you could come to my house. I wish we could just all be here and just love on one another and pray for each other. But since we cannot do that, we're going to have to do it over the comment section under my devotional YouTubes. So keep me posted on what's going on in your life. And don't ever forget, I truly love you, and so does God. I'll be back tomorrow.